Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking. I want to be talking today about how to actually help someone that we know who is depressed or who is suffering depression. I know that it can be very, very difficult to actually watch our loved one, our friends struggle with depression and really not know what to do or how to help. You can see how much pain they're going through, you know, every day and you just really want to take that burden off of them. You just really want to take that pain away and you do all you possibly can but it doesn't seem like anything you suggest is working or is happening and trust me i think it's really a great instinct that you really want to take off the pain or you want to at least be there or help your loved one who is struggling with depression i really think it's a fantastic instinct because you know what you really feel like oh there's so much more going on around that that, that they are missing out on and you probably want them to see be able to see the world and enjoy the world and everything that is in it. But everything you do or suggest to them doesn't seem to be working out, right? So the best way to actually try and help somebody who is depressed is to listen. Listen and empathize. As humans, it's usually very easy or almost second nature to try to provide solutions when someone comes to you with a problem or a challenge so i think the best way to try to help somebody who is depressed is listen empathize and try to not immediately problem solve you know or offer helpful situations or helpful tips on how to deal with the situation because you know what that ultimately does it just sends a signal that tells the person speaking to you that you know what this problem that you seem to have or be having is so simple see i've been able to solve it just voila like that and then you are being you're you're being depressed about it or you're 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 staying put or you're struggling with with solving it because that's really how you'll come across if you just immediately try to problem solve or just you know you know what provides um, solutions possible solutions on how to deal with the situation you really don't want to come across as what um a problem solver instantly because you know it just naturally would make the person feel ashamed I know that for me, whenever I talk about like issues, you know, from like back then, it's, I mean like back then I was never really talking about my issues with anybody, but when I grew to the point or when I started like, when I'd gotten comfortable journaling my experiences, it became easier for me to talk about them and take it or leave it, I still feel ashamed. I still feel embarrassed sometimes when I talk about my feelings because you know what, um, I've just talked about it to somebody and instead of the person listening or maybe trying to empathize or understand what I'm saying, they naturally just want to problem, problem solve. And that makes me feel like a freaking jerk. It makes me feel freaking crazy. It makes me feel like an attention seeker. And you do not want to send that kind of vibe to your loved one who is struggling and trying to deal with depression. You need to connect with them because it's important that they do not feel ashamed it's important that they feel understood it's important that they feel like they belong it's important that they feel a connection and honestly i think that having that connection is a way more powerful way to actually help a depressed person because once you talk about your problems as a depressed person to somebody and you somehow sense genuine empathy you sense that the person is genuinely listening not immediately trying to jump on a solution for you it just naturally draws you closer makes you much more connected makes you feel loved makes you feel understood and less ashamed and i think that is like the first thing you want to do it is so important i cannot overstress it it is so important to really just make sure that you do not feel ashamed talking about how they feel just listen 
So if connection, I don't know, you might actually ask if connection is a far better way to sort of help a person than actually respond. If connection sort of takes you closer, brings you closer to helping a depressed person. You might be wondering, how can I actually connect with the person? I think it's really easier, honestly. If you actually bear in mind that all you want to do is really listen, honestly, listen, unbiased, just listen without trying to respond, without trying to prefer a solution, just listen. And you'll find the connection in all that they share with you. You will definitely find the connection. And that's where you take it up from. I found a tool that I think can be really helpful. I didn't even know, I, I didn't know it was that helpful. I didn't know you can actually put it in that format. And honestly, I, I really liked it better. I really liked it better and I think it makes a lot of sense so I'm going to share that with you it just makes the whole connection uh, it just makes the whole connection easier to be formed it's by Dr. B from take this.org yes that's it Dr. B from take this.org it's he's an amazing he's an amazing doctor that speaks a lot on mental health that's really his expertise so Dr. B suggests this too it is um uh, uh, skep Skep, it's S-C-E-P. You summarize what they have told you, that is S. C, you check to be sure that you understand what they are saying. Then E, you empathize with what they have said to you. You genuinely empathize with the situation. Then P, you proceed with actually giving um, maybe possible solutions based on what you have found out you know, from that conversation. So skip S-C-E-P, all right? So um, you want to actually summarize. So basically, when we talk summarize, it's just uh, literally you listening to what they are saying to you. The first thing you remember is to listen and empathize. So you have to listen carefully. So when they're done talking, you want to actually try to summarize what they have said to you, just to be sure that you understand exactly what they are saying. That way it takes you closer to actually walking in their shoes. And honestly, it was, you, you'll find a genuine empathy and understanding brewing inside of you because you honestly understand. You're not assuming that you understand. So you want to summarize to be sure that you understand exactly what they have said to you, right? So once you summarize, right? And once you're done summarizing all that they've told you, you want to check to see if what you understand from what they've told you is right. While you're checking, you give room for them to sort of like just correct you where you misunderstand it, okay? You're not checking as an expert. You're not checking as a psychologist. You're not checking as a doctor. You're just checking as a friend, all right? So you have to be compassionate. It's so important when you are actually compassionate while you're at it, it actually makes all of the difference. So you want to check to be sure that you understand what you're saying and you're not misunderstanding their point. Then um, you empathize. When we, say, when, we, when we talk about empathizing, it is you empathizing genuinely with something that you have said that you can relate to. Like, honestly, it's so important to genuinely do that. Because in so doing, you do not shift the conversation from them, your loved one who is depressed, to you listening. It is so important. I think that's the entire crux of empathizing. While you empathize and relate to what they have said to you, you try to make the conversation or leave the conversation to be about them. Because you know what? It's their moment. They're trying to share. And sharing that experience or sharing the way they feel with you is a show of trust. All right? So you do not actually want to just take that away from them. It's important to just allow them share their experience you genuinely empathize with what you think you, you can relate to from all that I have shared with you. And then do not make the conversation about you. Then you want to proceed with what you think might help, right? You want to proceed with maybe just suggesting certain things, but please, it is important to while, while proceeding with suggestions, do not try to minima minimalize or trivialize their worries or concerns or the recourse of the depression. It's important. 
you probably some choice of words can sort of like just send that message things maybe you can you, you want to avoid words like at least or but it just simply come on it just minimalizes their challenge or their struggle it just minimalizes their situation it just waters down whatever it is they are feeling please avoid words like but and at least it's so important because then you actually don't want to send the wrong vibe you just want them to understand that you know what i understand you and, and i can connect with what you're saying and you know what there is no shame at all in what you're going through words like button at least can sort of just make them feel ashamed instantly and you really don't want that if you get them to that point honestly you haven't really helped them with their depression and it would naturally cause for them to shrink back shrink in some more moving forward dealing with other people all right and then you don't want that so you can it's also important to i think you honestly you can also ask about the um their um their state of mind you can ask if uh, if they're suicidal at the moment it's fine it, it wouldn't it wouldn't really make them uh, it wouldn't really take them closer to being any more suicidal than they already are you're just really trying to relate understand and communicate with them so it's fine if you ask them if they feel suicidal that's you still opening up channel for conversation and talking and it really just suggests that you understand exactly what they are saying and honestly that's a great way to connect with a person that is depressed all right Hi guys i hope that you are loving and enjoying this content so far please if you are give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button and turn on notifications just so that you're informed anytime i post a video because you know we're talking mental health how to deal manage and uh, cope with depression and anxiety on a daily basis so i want to just quickly go back to say that depression is not something that you can talk someone out of depression is not something that can just go away after a couple of conversations it takes time it's a process all right and possibly maybe even need professional help all right so if you think that your loved one needs professional help at any point please by all means encourage them to actually get the help that they need it's so important because you know what it's a process it might it will take time so if they need professional help please by all means encourage them to get that I am not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a therapist. I am just a fighter. I fight every day for my mental health. I've been depressed for a long time, a couple of years now, and I've, I've, I've suffered anxiety. So what I talk about on this channel is pretty much how to deal, manage, cope with depression and anxiety on a daily basis, all right? I also want to say that, guys, as you support your loved one who is going through depression or anxiety please take the time needed to take care of yourself all right it is important to take care of yourself as well and also know that people are different people are so different there is no right way or only way to sort of support or help a depressed person what works for a might not really work for b so maybe you want to actually know the person you're dealing with more individually you know and just understand that this doesn't necessarily have to work for everybody because people are different right? let me know what works for you when you're feeling depressed let me know what works better for your loved one or someone you know who is depressed all right and um, tell me in the comment sections what you're going through let's have a conversation about what you're going through and guys stick around this too shall pass all right and i'll see you guys next time okay Stay strong, keep fighting, and this too will pass, all right? Love you all. Mwah. My name is Nancy. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am enough. I know that, right? I am great. I am creative. I am innovative. Everything is working together for my good. And everything, absolutely everything is possible unto me. Have a great day. Mwah. <laughs>